Solar Setting Satellite is a CubeSat that will test solar radiation pressure from diffractive elements for thrust. While the project started with previous teams, the current team made many improvements in the area's deployment and attitude control. The team has predicted a 620 km sun synchronous orbit to assure constant sunlight on the spacecraft. The sail consists of four triangles made out of mylar. Each triangle is accordion folded into 10 cm wide strips and then stacked on top of each other and rolled onto a spindle. The corners of the sails are then attached to four booms that form a cross shape and are pulled out from the CubeSat when the booms are extended. After the ice ring test, we decided to try a new packing method for the sails that would have a smoother deployment. We took inspiration from LightSail 2 and packed the sail into a triangular prism shape instead of rolling it. After a few tests, we ended up changing to a rectangular prism shape instead. The deployment sensor consists of dual redundant infrared reflectance sensors. Reflective strips are spaced along the boom to give a 5% accuracy. The ice rink was used to test the CubeSat on a low friction surface. A hollow tube is sunken into the center of the rink so the booms are flush with the ice. The circuit boards designed were primarily as prototyping platforms for testing. For attitude determination testing, a custom board was made to mount the rate gyro. The Raspberry Pi is used to simulate a flight computer. It interacts with the reaction wheels and gyroscopes over a SPI and I2C interface. It controls the sail deployment by sending commands to an MSP430 board. The Pi also has a GUI to record and graph data. The Pi can be accessed over RIT Wi-Fi. To manufacture the CubeSat, we machine the frame using the RIT Kate Gleason College of Engineering machine shop. Unfortunately, the manufacturing for the attitude control system was not completed. For the attitude control system of the CubeSat, we started with the requirement that the CubeSat must have at least three degrees of freedom orientation control. This is necessary to orient the CubeSat after peapot ejection to begin the experiment. Eventually, we spec'd out the cost component from nanoavionics. Although the team was not fully able to complete the project due to COVID-19, it was an overall success. RIT Specs will be able to continue our work and further advance solar sailing technology. Special thanks to the multiple teams and people that helped us throughout the process.